Tribunal was founded in 1987. Um, <clears throat> Roger and I took it over in 1992. At that stage, we were a small operation only between Durban and Johannesburg, with only a handful of vehicles and 25 staff members. Um, and straight away, we realised that in order to become a force in South Africa, we had to expand our footprint and become a national mm -hmm. carrier. Um, service had to be put in front of everything. So the, the company had quite a bad reputation for service levels at the stage, and that's one of the first things we focus on, is keeping the service right and keeping it right. Well, it's exactly it. We're a huge country, and we have a lot of remote communities that, that are great distances away. Um, and there's not a lot of spend going into those areas which is why a lot of companies in South Africa make use of third-party agents who specialise on those routes. Um, <coughs> and they'll then do the deliveries for four or five different freight companies on that route and get consolidation in order to go into the area. The main areas where it's quite sparsely popular is obviously the Cape, Northern Cape, um, area, and then also through the old Trot Sky, the main right. national route deliveries. Otherwise, the main centres are going to be fairly well covered. We've got quite a big footprint. Okay. We currently deliver about 93% of all our cargo ourselves. It doesn't really affect us. The main arterial routes between our branches have got fairly good roads. Um, the main problem is around the, where the mines are, the coal mines, you load on scrapers, operators overload the vehicles. So you have small sections of road mm. um, in certain areas that are, that are fairly bad. But when I say fairly bad, I mean you might be limited to 80 k's an hour for 100 kilometers stretch. But generally the roads in South Africa feel very good, certainly between our main centres. Well, we've had toll systems for years. It's just yeah. the Cup Ting is now a the toll system. Um, the first toll system in this country went in the late 80s into Durban mm -hmm. um, Berry and Hills. So it's not a new concept to South Africa at all. Uh, it's just a, a lot fancier than our current toll systems. Everything's electronic, uh, which is going to be a future benefit, especially on the Cup Ting. And the whole plan is for South Africa to go into one national toll system. Yeah. So wherever you drive in the country, you'll, you'll pick up your number plate for, and for the video. So um, in terms of Perhaps improving um, security and that on, on a lot of the arterial routes at night. Because currently, your, your hot spots for hijackings that are around toll gates where vehicles are forced to stop and you have guys cutting air hoses and that while they're paying and forcing the vehicle to break down a kilometre down the road. So, they're certainly going to improve the security if we've got one national system. Well, operationally, it assists us tremendously because we can use it for track and trace information. So, we can manage our entire business through IT. We can we obviously have service level agreements um, specified with our clients and we can monitor the service level agreements in real time basically as, as deliveries are done we can see it, our clients can see it on the web page um, they can access how many consignments we fail, what areas we fail them in so certainly in terms of um, competitive advantage it's given us a huge competitive advantage by investing in IT the we have yeah. um, there's not many road freight transporters that use an e-mobile device you saw in the, in the video of this mm. country yeah, that's right. um, we're one of the few, few of the courier cars use it, but the express road freight cars, not many people do it. So uh, we, we see it as a huge advantage. It certainly benefits us in managing our business. In terms of security systems, um, all our vehicles have um, uh, GPS devices in them so we can monitor them in real time. <coughs> We're busy developing a system, um, a GPS system that, that goes with the email, mobile device that will actually route the driver to the next customer. And it will give us an ETA of how long it's going to take them to get to the new customer, so to the next customer. So people will see real time, but it's the time of arrival. Then we've also got in our vehicles now we've installed a new drive cam system, um, and it basically continuously records. And should there be an event where the drive has a harsh break or you hit a curve, it'll take the eight seconds before the event and four seconds after and video clip it through to so control room in the States, and then go and sort it in terms of. Uh, severity and email us a report every morning with, with the clips. So this helps us tremendously, especially when it's not our fault. We need to have guys jumping red rubbers, we can prove cases of accidents went to our fault and prove that we're in the right. So that's helped us tremendously as well. For more videos, please visit www.voicesofsouthafrica.com.